So we talked about the importance of breathing earlier. It's a big part of our posture and a healthy function of the thoracic spine, but let's see what that looks like for us now. Mariana, I'm just gonna have you take two or three deep breaths and I'll give you some different cues that you can use with your clients, patients, and athletes. Let's just do a few breaths and I'll tell you what we're looking for in a moment. Go ahead. All right, so she's breathing, that's a good sign. If you're live, we can continue with the session. We don't need to call anyone here. One thing that I did notice as Mariana breathes in is there's a significant rise to the rib cage. Now, the intercostal should be helping. The scalenes should be helping. The sternocleidomastoid should be helping, but they're not the primary muscles of inspiration force. That should really be the diaphragm. So we've got a lot of synergistic dominance of these muscles up through the cervical area, as well as through the trunk and the rib cage. If these muscles are doing too much work, it's gonna create rigidity and excessive tone that will not let the rib cage or the thoracic spine move well. Another way just to help highlight this for us, as well as the individuals that we're working with, Marianne, I'm gonna have you take your left thumb and put it in your belly button, and then put your hand just below your belly button like that. And I'm gonna have you put your other hand just below your collarbone. And you can put it flat across the chest here. And we'll just do two or three deep breaths. This will give me anchor points to watch for. I should be seeing this bottom hand move out. She should be moving three-dimensionally from the diaphragm and that lower rib cage. So Mariana, tell me, which hand is moving more, the top hand or the bottom hand? Top hand. Top hand. So if things are working great, the bottom hand is doing more moving. So as you're breathing, see if you can kind of pull down through the lungs into the diaphragm and put pressure into your hand when you breathe in. So this can just be an awareness tool as you're building towards the corrective strategy, even though we're still in the assessment process. One more time for us, breathe out in through the belly. And you can see that's a little bit of a challenge. We'll go ahead and set the hands down. So breathing, we can see that there's some restriction in the diaphragm. And if someone's stuck up in this extended posture in the thoracic spine, it can be tough for that diaphragm to pull down to get oxygen in.